Driverless cars may provide more opportunity for hackers. Some are proving there are ways to control brakes, engines, and other components remotely. My next guest says that security risk isn't the only one. MIT Tech Reviews at San Francisco Bureau Chief Tom Simonite is with me now. Welcome, Tom. Why are driverless cars more of a security risk than human-driven ones? Oh, hi, it's nice to be here. If you speak to anyone uh, who works in computer security, they will tell you that adding more computers to something makes it more hackable. There are just more things that can go wrong. Um, when things are hooked up to the internet, of course, that provides a way in for an attacker. And it's clear that to make cars drive themselves, you need to add a lot of computers to these, these vehicles, uh, you know, as well as all the equipment to control the different components. Okay, but you're saying that in addition to those potential breaches, there are other issues. I know you're out in California. I assume you have visited some of the places that are testing these driverless cars. What are you seeing? What are you hearing? Yeah, that's right. I mean, if, if you're here in the Bay Area, you just need to visit the right stretch of the 101 freeway, and you can see Google's cars uh, out in testing on public roads. Uh, this is a very exciting technology. I think a lot of us are ready to give up driving and uh, lean back and relax. Uh, there are a lot of safety benefits. Something like 30,000 people die on U.S. roads every year. Maybe we can cut that. Um, this is moving fast. You know, Google just uh, announced it's opening a new testing facility outside of Detroit where it will work with Chrysler on some self-driving minivans. And, and Toyota and some other car makers say they want to give us autonomous cars by 2020. So there's a lot of optimism in the industry. But there are some questions about how exactly we're going to get there to this state where, you know, you or I can safely text when we're in our car and, and not have to pay attention to where we're going. So when you speak with these experts, what are they telling you? What are their biggest challenges right now? So the biggest challenges are around you know, the complicated urban driving that we do, which often involves a lot of thinking. And it's almost like a social act. If you're in an urban environment, you might be making eye contact with other drivers. You might be in situations where a road is closed and there were cops standing out in the road telling you where you need to go. Um, computers and you know, robotic equipment is great when it comes to making quick reactions to say something is in front of the car, mm -hmm. but uh, computers aren't there yet with the common sense that is needed to decode right. some of these difficult so urban human situations. human brains are still, for the moment, slightly stronger than machine ones, which uh <laughs> it's good to be reassured of from time to time, even though right. I know that humans are the ones programming all the artificial intelligence tools. We take the point nonetheless. Thank you, Tom.